and welcome back to Dropa 3. Case 5, let's get going. We have to expect everything, this evidence. The monoclone file barely had any information at all to stay. Okay. Wouldn't be much for us to use. It's so useless, he probably shouldn't have used have gone out of his way to even give it to us. Maybe he doesn't even know that much. It's fine, it's fine. The mascot Kirill at the neat murder scene bringing a sense of relief to peace the case. And he popped out. I wonder why the control panel was scratched up then. Hmm. What a tension hog. Da, da, da. Of course, I want the attention. I'm a mascot for crying out loud. That's true, that's kind of what mascots do. And yet, it appears a few times the plane sits to me just over there. It's been faulty advertising if I don't appear as often as I can. Advertising? Adver no. What advertising? You know where just focus on the investigation. Yeah! This blood trail is super concerning. What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? It's okay, like, Himiko, I didn't do anything. The way you are now, you start accusing people because you don't believe in no. Kepler's death. No, it's not that. I don't want to hear excuses. I think, don't talk to me. Everybody's turning on us. If you keep bugging me, I'll give you an afro hair with my magic. That's classic. She's stubborn, she suspects everything right now. Or is the reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Because she doesn't. Ooh. So we have the blood trail here. Anything again to see it here? What's this power line here? Anything from the paint thing. Looks like the paint used for the AXS smells kind of like a paint thinner. It probably is the same as before, probably not related to the case. A bit of close. This is definitely a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In the case, the victim must be. Da, da, da. I don't want to do it. I half raise press. Expect the body. The control panel moves the hydraulics, it keeps going up and down and stops. I should be able to press up to raise the body and check, but we can't because it's disabled. I don't want to see a crushed body no matter who it is, but I have to do it. I have to, I might up to take a breath and press the button. Is it deactivated? And it's not moving. Press the button a few times. You press, still won't move. It's strange, it moves when I press the last time. I look at the press and found. The power cord is cut. There's no power, so the hydraulic won't move. Mm, that's why. This it can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. But well, why would they do that? It doesn't matter. The body's totally crushed. I mean, it would be really hard to tell who it is. I suppose you could tell by, like, the hair or something. It must have been the work of the culprit. So that's going to be case and study. I, in case you won't be able to check the body, I honestly am a little relieved. I shouldn't say that out loud. I should take another look at the control panel. There must be some sort of clue. In addition, there's an emergency stop button. Pressing that would stop it. Instantly, if I used it, if the culprit was planning on the murder, you may have no use for it. What uh, concerns me more is the safety function. If the hydraulics press is used, has interfered scanner, it starts safe. This device comes and halts with living organisms, so whoever it was had to be dead beforehand. That's right, the whole drug press should have had a safety feature. I forgot about that. If the interior sensor detected a living thing, 
would stop immediately, then how would they get around that if any stuff on Kibo were this train before? Or it didn't stop from Seth. If the scanner detected a person, it's safe to say it should have stopped and pressed mm -hmm. down. Stop automatically. Mm. Maybe you have the exile suits push it down or something. Safety out of monochrome bullet. So that's just a bit of claw there. Hydraulic press. Anything from here? Hydraulic press. Press down. The blood's everywhere. You use this to lift up the hydraulic pack. It should be able to check the body. But the car cord has been cut. It won't move. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. Okay, I think we're. S There's an exile suit here. There's an exile suit in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well, exposing the cockpit. It, so, this is how it looks inside. Small but big enough for a person. Okay, that opens up a world of possibilities then. A lot of possibilities. An open hatch. A strange. Only Monokovs can turn off the electrical locks and open the hatch. Only Monokovs can open the hatch. Normally Monokovs are the ones who can pilot exile suit. Normally being the keyword. Something I miss. Being the keyword because of the electrical hammer thing. The electrical lock was all screwed. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? No, no one asked me about it either. And if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information anyways. That means anybody could have done it now at this point. An electrical lock on the hatch can only be on a company, which means it must be why the monocolors were controlling the XL suits. But if he could disable the lock, you could control the XL suit, which means anybody could have done it. Whoa. Because anybody can get in here. It's like crazy. It's awesome. Control panel for the electrical alarm barrier. I don't see any reason. Let's turn them back on though. What about red here? The red suit is completely still switchy. It's dangerous over there. If you go near such a thing, you might get torn apart. No. It's off though. Da, da, da. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without Koichi. <laughs> With the monocops or Koichi, uh, it's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Geez, don't scare me like that. Maybe he, we should just tear the drunk apart with my magic. I suppose that if Koichi was alive, he would move it at a time. Why hey! you know, would you say it so soon? That's if Koichi is alive, but the remote control of the XL the remote control of Koichi has for the XL suits. What is it exactly does he have in mind to become the mastermind? Anything about the washing machines back here? It looks like a car wash, I imagine the XL suits here. It doesn't look like it's any use. I don't see any clues. Blood trail, go! What is this? It's a blood trail, a faint trail of blood leading to the press, a swiping pattern as if it breaks. It looks like it's coming from the bathroom. The blade stand suggests that someone was dragged from the bathroom to the press and died pretty horribly, it looks like. So the real murder weapon probably took care of this is the bathroom. Now that I think about it, now I'm locked up in the bathroom, which is just outside the door. This is the place where Kaicho was in prison. Kaicho might have left some no. kind of clues here. No, I don't think he'd leave anything. He might not be dead. We should investigate inside. So he's still sick, this is the bit here. Glass bottle, crossbow bolts. 
Oh, that's concerning. This is really concerning. Oh, that's like super bad. This is like almost says Kaido is done in 100% of the time. Small window for ventilation. This is the same window as before. Some win small window and it doesn't open the way no one would be able to fit through. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would escape right now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit like the crossbow and the crossbow bolts. Oh, this is see, there's a black case. Oh, 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 oh. This case. Mm, what's in this black case over here? It's a back way from the conversation and Kaito headed far from the shelf on uh, some kind of weapon, so. Uh, this is the case from before, right? Oh, uh, this is painful. This is painful. So painful. How, who would give him the crossbow bolts, though? These look like arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three of them. Blood on all of them. This, what is this? How did this happen? I'm super confused. A crossbow. This is the one that Kaito knew how to use. The one that from Monkey's lab. Why is it here? Yeah, who would give this to him, man? Glass bottle here. Poison. It's kind of blurted out a lot, though. There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom and it's empty. I, I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely, but it kept the word poison. If it's poison, the bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought it here. This definitely has something to do with the case. And whoever was shot kind of here. Blood stains. Put all blood in the center of the room. Swiping patterns from there to the door. What could this mean? Blood stains has been added to the section of the cool files. Alright, I finished investigating the bathroom. There's no more clues in particular. One particular concern. Why is the crossbow bolt from Maki's lab here? That was very concerning. Three bloody arrows. The arrows are definitely crossbow. Why are there bloody arrows here? And a bottle of poison from what I can, could have been used for. There's still so much I don't know. In this case, it looks like it's going to be a tricky one. Yeah, I have some outside knowledge which will help us, but yeah, it's going to be a bizarre one from what I can tell. Okay, we're gonna learn more about the Exile Suits. Anything from you, Amiko? If you want to talk to you, I'll use my... If you keep bugging me, I'll use my explosion spell. She's awfully stubborn if she suspects everyone. But is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? That's kind of weird. There is enough on the Monokumufa. We don't even know the cause of death. It's probably those crossbow bolts in. The culprit is probably Koichi. I'm worried about this plus trial though. Anything we can learn about the Nola Hanger. Well exposed. So this is how it looks inside. It's small but big enough for one person. But the monocones could disable electronic locks. So we, they can only control it. On the other hand, if you could disable the lock, you could control the Excel suits. Oh, that feels like there was outside help. Still things I should investigate. Anything about this control panel? Anything about the blood trail? Coming from the bathroom. That's true. But it's just somebody who's straight to the press. 
Complete storage while Kiryuchi is alive. Uh, I don't know what we need to investigate here. Hydro press. Give it another shot, quick. Nothing new there. There's a cord that's cut. Wait, there's a hole maybe in this here. Yeah, definitely a sleeve there and mess no. with victims. Hmm. Sleeve. Well, this sleeve has a single small hole in it. A hole in the sleeve. This could be. It suggests a puncher one. This is probably about all the information induced from the hydro press. I don't need to check the body. I don't think there would be many clothes worth. I need to find more clothes elsewhere. I investigated all I can do with the hangar. I still have questions to reach the truth. I still can't deduce who the victim is, but I need. More clues, I should get to get other areas. We should start with the areas around the hangar for sure. Leave the hangar quick. The alarm system is off, it must be the effect of the electronic right. bomb. We should investigate this place thoroughly and miss some clues around here. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably Monokuma's doing here, because he's the only kind of one that I can do that, and we'll do that, who I think, but he knew, his, knew the code, for sure, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like a little better now. Sorry to worry you, Suichi. Okay. I was a bit worried, and I'm glad you're feeling better. That's definitely a good thing. It's something I need to ask Kibo. Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own. I'm sorry, I thought it would go. He perhaps he released Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went well as you expected. There was no response at all. I did witness a few things. What did you witness? You said you witnessed a few things. What did you exactly see? Yes, since. We were in the hangar. I only told you the exile suit to return to the okay. hangar. Yes, you said the exile suit could pass through the hangar alarm and the barrier of the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something would like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the exile suit, I saw someone in the hangar. Huh? Was hangar? You um, saw someone. It was Himiko. Oh my. This is concerning. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. This is bad, bad. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. That has the murder weapon. A black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things, or plead with Koichi. And since she came back later, I don't think too much of it. But after seeing her reaction this morning, I'm starting to get suspicious. What? What did you see? She acts like she had something to hide. It's not like I want to suspect her. It's true, it is suspicious. Hey. She delivered the weapon, but she's not the killer, though. You said earlier she came back as well, though. Was she holding the bag at the time? Nope. Now that you mention, I don't think she was. So she came in and didn't leave. It has to be the black bag he can go carry with um. us. By the way, this is a little off topic, so itchy, but what is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electrical bomb, but it was because electrical magnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. 
So I am experiencing an AKA allergy reaction, such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human sense as well. Being a robot has nothing to do with uh, it. Okay. Sure, whatever. You're right, it must be. That thing Himiko said bothered, bothering him. He is really being too sensitive. Well, we know how the bag got there then. I don't know how Himiko knew I'd deliver the bag for sure. This control panel, cover, the ele control the electrical barrier, protecting the hangar. I hit it with my hammer and wasn't operating right. That's true. That's right, there are the marks. It looks like it's been struck by a sharp weapon. What could this be? Oh wait, here's... They even damaged in the first place. Could Maki have damaged it? Getting near the control panel should go off before... I have turned off the alarm before you can get in here. And how did the person who did this get near the control panel? That's an interesting question. Couldn't have been Maki then. Let's go ask him real quickly. Can I not enter, please? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, we gotta go back then. This is gonna be a clue. Oh, funny. Anger shut it. It's too long as here. We use the remote control to disable it further. If the if you come near the shutter without the remote alarm goes off the enemy, we use the electrical bomb to disable the sensors and alarms. How would we get in the hangar? <laughs> I'm not exactly a bomb. It's not exactly a bomb. It's what we call an electrical bomb. It jams the electrical signals, scattering particles, the magnetic waves. For two hours, all electron devices within a 50 your radius will be disabled, except for Kibo. It's perfect for any secret activities to sense it doesn't leave any debris behind. The invention was extra ornate, but I only have three of them, which means he only has two, or maybe he's lying. So we need to be careful with them, you guys have to settle for the electrical hammers. Now that I think about it, there are three electrical bombs in total. One Maki stole and two others. So those numbers are going to be important. Can we go inside? Nope. Oh well, we'll have to ask Yumiko later. Anything from the window here? Bathroom window, the hangar. Only window. It's not possible to fit through. That means only way to get in the hangar is through the shutters. I'm all concerned over the uh, hangar, but I still haven't had enough clues yet. Other places might be okay. enough clues yet. The Maki well labs, crust bowl, in the bathroom, and bottle of poison. You need to oh, investigate why? those leads. I should investigate the three exiles who's protecting Monokuma. Why were they protecting him in the first place? Might as well be related to the case. I think I know why, but we'll see you later. I think the Maki roll is gonna Lock us though. Exhale shoots. Isn't showing any sense. If Koichi is alive, he could have used remote control them as he please pass here. But the remote control, Koichi has an Excel suit. But this is it exactly what does he have in mind? Because he's the mastermind. His hammer. Why is the ha- why would there be a hammer here? And it's off on the power, it must have been used, but why? But be careful, the electrical hammer runs out of the juice pretty quickly, and if you use it against the XL suits, it will run out of juice with just once when you got it. I remember correctly. If the electrical hammer power up extends required 24 hours, we know that it's certain. Remember what I saw yesterday? The Excel suits were protecting Monokuma for some reason. Koichi said himself that the 
He was the mastermind exo should should been around him. Why would they be around him? Why were they protecting him all four of them? Hmm. I suppose I was caught up thinking about Koichi and ignore Monokuma. Pay attention and listen up and take heed to what I say. Monokuma. It's just I noticed you came this way last night, Suichi. Hmm? Hmm, you were acting sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into an adult movie section in the store, but you don't need to sneak around because the Excel suits wouldn't have attacked hey. you. What are you saying? You don't. You didn't have to sneak around because everyone's coming to rent movie, adult movies. So the way everyone goes, you're just the same. Wait. No, that's not it. I mean, about the Excel suits not attacking. At the time, the XL suits were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Their movements are limited now that monocops aren't piloting them. Huh? Autopilot, you mean all control that Koichi has? Well. Yeah, it's pretty much it. So the XL suits were being controlled by Koichi, but they were focusing on Monokuma. Why are you telling me all of this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. But you're not talking about that, you're talking about this, that's a clue. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must be f always fair. The person who shares the information with you guys didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you, you shared Instead, that's the way it's to be fair in all particulars. So somebody else knows about this. Why would they hide this information? Okay, that's all I have to tell you. By the way, renting movies is old school. More thrilling to say illegally download them, which is becoming more old school, but say. It's like trying not to be caught in a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. Weird, but then the information of the Excel suit could be a clue to solving this. I should remember that. So that's about the autopilot then. And there, protecting Monokuma. Anything around here? I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Okay, so. It's only 27 minutes, but I'm going to call it a part because I want this investigation to be hopefully two parts. We'll see if the other part goes long, then that's me mouse calculating, but you guys take care and I hope you have a good day.